Hello everyone, and welcome back to the funniest backroom series on YouTube, the Joke Levels series, which of course is where I take your funny levels and go over them in a video. The last video blew up, and everyone has been asking for another part, so here we go. Make sure you check out my second channel, Toogly, to go watch the 100k plaque unboxing, but watch this video first. Shameless plugging out of the way, and let's get into the video. First up is a Mr. Raccoon's level called Level Goldfish. This level has a survival difficulty of 5, and the description goes like this. A goldfish that wants to break your back and children's backs too, and watch you unalive slow. Okay, we're off to a good start. There's one entity here called the Goldfish God, and you can enter this level just by eating a goldfish. I mean, that's pretty easy, right? You can't exit it though, and you'll be chased around by a giant goldfish for eternity. Truly a masterpiece, truly. Next up is a level from Pew Blaster called Level Credit Card, which is classified as a class money, and on this level, your mom is here, and you took her credit card. Run before she catches you. Specifically, you took your mom's credit card to buy Robux and other stuff. <laughs> There's actually two entities here. One of them is your mom, and the other one is the IRS. <laughs> okay. To enter this level, you have to find your mom's house in the back room somehow, and to exit, you have to evade your mom's capture until the IRS catches her first. Nice! The next level is called Level 13 Days of Brugmas from Trojan Prometheus. This level has a difficulty of Bruglic, meaning it's Brug safe, Brug secure, but is Brugly bunch infested. <laughs> Oh no, that can be good. The level description goes like this. Brugly on crack. Nice. The level is basically level 1, but with the Brugly face reveal faces all over it. And if you're not careful, you will see Brugly grab you from the floor and you will disappear for an eternity. I can't make it up, that's what it says. The entities here are Big Brugly, which of course is me, and then the Brugly Bunch, which is described as, quote, a funny group of degenerates. It's honestly not too far off from the real thing, to be honest with you. On this level, there's actually a base called the Hall of the Brugly Bunch, where people worship Brugly, <laughs> and Brugmas is always being celebrated. Cool. To get to this awesome sounding level, you have to watch your Brugly video. Simple as that. And to exit, well, to be honest with you, I don't think you need to. The next entry is from Massimo, and it's called The Bathrooms. It's classified as a class FARD level, and has poop smell. And quote, I forgot how to FARD. Massimo is truly poetic with his words. The level looks like level 0, but it's a massive bathroom instead, and it smells terrible. And surviving here will be impossible. And here is a quote from Massimo himself that describes the true danger of this level. If you hear a fard, may God save you. End quote. <laughs> Wait, what is this? What is this? There are two entities here. One is called the Crapper, and the other one is called the Peace Line. You can pretty much guess what those are. To enter this very clean and sanitary level, you have to quote, fard on level zero. And to exit, all you have to do is poop yourself. This is what I have to go through, people. Next is a level from Andrew Nersh called Level Abacrumus. Oh gosh, I think I know where this might be going. The survival difficulty is... Sussy. The entire level is that you were spinning on an Among Us character. Like, that's the level, that's the entire thing. To enter, you have to get a Steam gift and to exit, you have to prove that you're sus. <laughs> so this is what it's really come to. Wow. The next level comes from Michael Jackson and is called Level Meatloaf. The level has a difficulty of, quote, choking hazard, and it looks like a huge table with a chair in the middle. On this level, you will be force-fed meatloaf for the rest of your life. Okay. To enter, 
you have to eat meatloaf on level 69, and to exit, you have to not choke on meatloaf. Man, these just keep getting better and better. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm joking, they're getting worse and worse and worse. Lastly for today's video is from the cool kid, and it's called Level 4 Million, aka Assassinate the Large Soviet Pig. This level has a survival difficulty of Piggy, and the level looks like an old Soviet era town with a huge crowd of people surrounding this giant pig. No seriously, a giant pig. Your only goal on this level is to kill the giant pig. However, this isn't as easy as it seems because, well, first off, there's hundreds of people surrounding the pig, and second of all, you have to be a good shot with a sniper because that's all you spawn in the level with. And it's important that you hit the shots on the pig because if the pig notices you, it will, quote, fart so hard that your sense of smell will cease to exist. My tears grow every day. And if this somehow doesn't make you want to get out of there, then the pig will, quote, fart again, but even louder, to the point of your ears bursting and unaliving yourself. Nice. The people in the crowd aren't even affected by this stuff. Also, apparently you can actually survive that second fart attack, but if you do, then the pig will chase you down and trample you and then eat you. So pretty much what I'm saying is, you just gotta hit your shots. To enter this level, for whatever demented reasons you have, you need to break a comically large piggy bank on any level. And to exit, just successfully shoot the pig, and then you'll have access to a car that will take you to level 69. Honestly, this level should be canon, and I'm not even kidding. So yeah, that is it for the torment of the third installation of the fan-made Backrooms level series. Let me know down below if you want the series to continue. Personally, it's one of my favorite series to go on the channel, because they're literally all so stupid and dumb that they're just hilarious probably because my sense of humor is terrible at this point so hopefully you got a good laugh i did make sure you go check out Toogly and go watch my 100k subscriber plaque unboxing and check out the gaming videos that are going up on there the channel is really close to 10k subs so let's hit that before mid-march please and thank you i'm trying to get that to 100k subs by the end of the year i know it's a long shot but we're gonna be grinding on there let's get Toogly to 100k Thank you to my patrons and channel members for your support, as always, and thank you to everyone for watching and supporting me. I know I say thank you a ton, but I literally cannot thank you enough for the life that you've given me. I'm literally just living my childhood dream, and it's because all you do for me. Thank you so much. In all seriousness, thank you very much for everything. Thank you for watching and supporting me, and I'll see you later.